Welcome to episode 1 of Framemeister Help. The goal here is to answer questions related to the Framemeister and RGB, be it questions for absolute newcomers or Framemeister veterans, so let's go ahead and get started. Our first question comes from Jonathan Thompson, who asks, Unless I'm doing something wrong, when using a game like Battle Garega using these settings, it seems slightly too zoomed in, to where it cuts off some of the top and bottom. Generally speaking, for my 240p settings, I like to use a zoom setting of 90. This means approximately 10% of the vertical resolution is lost. On the flip side, this means every horizontal line is a uniform 5 pixels wide or tall when outputting 1080p. Generally speaking, this is a non-issue as many games were built with overscan in mind. However, this might not always be desirable, like on a horizontal shooter for example. If you find this loss of screen is causing issues, set the zoom at 100. The next question comes from Seth Allen who writes, My PS1 doesn't have an RGB port. Now, as we in America never really had televisions with RGB or SCART ports, this question might be more common than you think. Basically, Seth, the multi-AV output on the PlayStation or PS1 does in fact output RGB. There's not a special RGB port. There are 12 lines on the multi-AV output including composite, chrominance and luminance needed for S-Video, as well as red, green and blue, or RGB, so your PS1 is not missing any ports. Next, I have an important question from Estevan Garcia who asks, I have a Japanese Sega Saturn. Do I need to order the JP21 version of the SCART cable and then use the adapter that comes with the Framemeister? This is a great question. First, there are two parts to a SCART cable, the end that plugs into the system and the end that plugs into your monitor or the Framemeister. When buying a cable for your Japanese Saturn, it's important you are buying an NTSC cable and not a PAL cable. The pinouts on the Saturn itself are different depending on the region. Once you have this right, you can buy a cable wired in the European standard or the JP21 standard, whichever fits your needs. Just make sure you buy an NTSC wired cable. The next two questions are basically the same, so let's go ahead and answer them together. First, Carrick Zero writes, Would you need a sync stripper if you have both C-Sync and Sync on Luma devices? If you mix, do you unplug the power to the stripper when using only C-Sync? And Adam Burns also asks, Most of my setup up as C-Sync like the Genesis, SNES, and NES. On the N64 and PS1, I would probably be Sync on Luma. In that case, do I need the special Sync stripper adapter so I can play both types of Sync on the XRGB Mini? The short answer is you don't need a sync splitter or a sync separator when using a cable wired for sync on Luma. A sync splitter is usually only needed to separate sync from a composite video signal to reduce checkerboard artifacts. I've experienced no artifacts whatsoever when using sync on Luma, so I would recommend skipping a sync splitter altogether as you just might create some unnecessary problems for yourselves down the road. That's Fresh26 has a Framemeister specific question. Is there a particular reason I am having some shuddering with my PS1 hooked up to my XRGB Mini through a SCART switch? My TV will go black and then come back on and has some lines going through it for some reason. Unfortunately, there isn't enough information here to offer a definitive answer, but here is my best guess. The Framemeister is notorious for going blank for a few seconds if there is a resolution switch in a game, like from 240p to 480i. The Framemeister will also remember the last use setting on each input at each resolution, so if you had scan lines enabled on your last 240p game, but not your last 480i game, this could be a possible cause to the issue you are having. If anyone else has ideas for That's Fresh 26, please leave a comment below. Tino Starks asks another question I receive from time to time. So, to confirm, can you get 480p from SCART on the Toro? The short answer is yes. The longer answer is, SCART is a connector type, not a video signal. A SCART cable can carry a modified 31kHz VGA signal without any issues. Currently, the Toro is the easiest way to get a 480p VGA signal into the Framemeister using the front RGB port. For our final question, Pixelated asks, Sorry if this is a noobish question, but I wasn't able to change the screen set to normal too. That whole menu was grayed out. I have the latest firmware and all the other instructions worked. For this, just turn off the zoom and you should be all set to access the screen set menu. 
So that will do it for this inaugural episode. If you found this information useful, useless, have a correction or clarification, or have your own questions, please leave a comment below. And until next time, happy gaming.